previously on The Amazing Slacker. Pimping their ride, Hempy and Potsy decided to keep it local. However, the good folks at Penetron do not do business with the likes of them. Luckily, Chad was able to step in and inflict a little social justice. Following the mayhem, Chad was chastised by Dirk Diggler and ordered off Penetron property. After a complete breakdown in security, the giant cock has his way with Hank while Dirk Diggler flees for safety. Seeing the giant cock ride Hank, Officer Flower runs for safety while Chad diverts the cock. In a psychotic rage, the giant cock goes on a rampage, decimating everything in its path, including Super Duper Peachy Keen Kid. After a visit from Jesus, a dazed and confused Hank helps local law enforcement locate Dirk Diggler. After being incorrectly identified as a hero, Dirk Diggler seizes the opportunity to launch his plan of corporate and global dominance. And now, our feature presentation. Welcome to The Amazing Slacker, Part 11. Jumping the Shark with Chad. Act 1, follow the bong smoke. Wakey, wakey, Tim. It's time to go to work. Jesus balls, Christ. I should call out sick. You must be in attendance at the all-hands meeting at Penetron. They're recognizing Mr. Diggler's recent heroics. Bad optics if you're not there. Thought occurred to me, Billy. A real Penetronian would buckle down and get with the program today. But I'm not a team player, so I'm gonna get high and show up late for work. Follow the bong smoke, Tim. Yes, follow the bong smoke. Act 2. Beating the law. Freeze, you degenerate! What in tarnation are you doing in this nice neighborhood? Hello, officer. My name's Sativa. This is my home. <laughs> I don't buy your story. In fact, I think you're hiding something. I am not comfortable answering any questions without my partner here. Partner, huh? Is that what you things are calling that deviant behavior? You disgust me. You are violating my civil rights. You talking about civil rights? Well, I'd like to hear it. What the hell you know about civil rights? Oh, Hempy darling, where are you? I'm being assaulted by an unhinged police officer. You need to hold it right there, little lady. The law will always win. You best now stay still while I perform my cavity search. You're being inappropriate, officer. Take your hands off my old lady, you piece of shit. <laughs> oh, Hempy, you're my hero. Hang tight, Sativa. I don't think this motherfucker's done. Well now, it's time to deal with you things once and for all. Help, help. Chikali, help. Hey, man, excessive force is not cool. Hey there, hippie. If I were you, I'd mind my own goddamn business. Or you can get a taste of this taser, too. Hang on, man. I'm on my way. You messed with the wrong cat, man. Ouch! Hey, man. Are you okay? We've been through some severe trauma, but we'll deal. Well now there, sons of anarchy. We have some unfinished business. <laughs> it's not gonna end well if you push it, man. Well now, it's time for me to crack some hippie skull. Head for safety. Yeah, man. Let's do this. Ow! Yeah, man. Kick his fucking ass. That's enough of a beatdown for one day, man. Well, dirtbag, it's your lucky day. I'm gonna let you off with just a warning. But if you're here when I return, I'm calling in the SWAT team. Hey, man, do you know where I can lay low for a while? Relax, man. I know a guy. Act 3. Good cop, bad cop. Boy, oh boy, Dirk, you're real hard to get a hold of. Detective Lankford, I am an important executive for Penetron. I am much too busy to talk with you. I'll let you in on a little secret, Dirk. Your story about that gigantic cock is not adding up. Sooner or later, we're going to have to talk. Like I said, that gigantic cock was riding me hard. I was delirious. I don't remember a thing. But I'm pretty sure Mr. Diggler saved my life. Mr. Diggler is the bravest man I know. You wins are lying and yous knows it. I figured the rube over here wouldn't know anything. I tell you what, what got 
damn now. This here's America. No one talks to me that way. You ins lock it up. Or you's gonna get your ass kicked. Now back to you's officer flower. Why are you's covering for Diggler? Nobody but him could have handled that gigantic cock. That's enough from yous. If Ewan's continues to lie, yous is gonna get brained. Gee whiz, Officer Polar. Aren't you pushing it a little? Ewan stays out of it, Satan. This is about the streets. Sorry about my partner. He's unhinged. I'm not like that. I'm different. You and Satan are fucking it all up. Golly gosh, Eugene. Did I flub up? How can I make it up to you, buddy? Let me have a few moments in private with her. I'll get her to talk. That's right. Officer Puller's back, and Ewan's is gonna talk. Sounds like you're gonna get physical. Ewan's is gonna get taught a lesson. You'll have to do it much harder than that to get me to talk. Make it harder. I need to talk. Ewan's don't nothing about hard. Here comes Officer Polar's daddy long stroke. Your pounding is making my juices flow. I'm ready to talk. I'm proud of you, Eugene. Golly gosh, I'm proud of you too. Man, Jesus, you're always hitting the weed before me. How Ewan's like me now? Make it harder and I'll talk. Act four, a new kind of hero. Hey, Tommy. I bet you have wicked shame after that encounter with that giant cock. I can help you forget about it, man. No thank you, weed pusher. Just because I had a little setback doesn't mean I'm not... Super duper peachy keen kid. And 420 is not welcome here. After being humiliated on the public stage by that gigantic cock, Penetron Media canceled your contract. They're fucking weasels. <laughs> Face it. 420 is the only friend you got. Look, pal, 420 is no friend of mine. And instead of disobeying my authority figures, I'm going to reject 420 because I have faith in the business ethics of Biff Martin and the entire Penetron team. Look, little lady, you're just not Penetron executive material. You do have other assets we can talk about. I am well qualified. My performance has been outstanding, and I've done everything you've asked me to do. Have you really done everything I've asked? Let's see if you're willing to do what's good for the company. Mr. Martin, super duper peachy keen kid is here to see you. Seeing my hands-on approach with a fellow employee might make you feel a little awkward. I highly suggest you pretend it never happened. And if you ever portray Penetron and share what you saw, I'll have the good folks from Penetron Security come pay you and your family a little visit. <laughs> now be a doll and send in Super Duper Peachy Keen Kid. I'm sure it's just an oversight on behalf of Penetron Media. After all, I've been a pretty peachy keen superhero. <laughs> Before we get into all that, I want to show you something that's pretty super duper peachy keen. I don't get it, Mr. Martin. What is it? It's the new Dirk Diggler action figure. Pull the string. I will never back down from a giant cock. Your yesterday's news, super duper. The kids are looking for a hero who can handle a giant cock. So you're out, and Diggler's in. Now I have important Penetron business to attend to. I don't care if you go away mad. I just want you to go away. Officer Flower, clean up this mess. <laughs> I'm sorry, super duper peachy keen kid. It's my job. Gee golly. I used to have one of those. Come on, super duper peachy keen kid. All the cool kids do it. Fuck it, man. I'm just gonna get high. Fuck this corporate shit. Act 5. The cock at the ballet. Welcome to the Penetron mandatory all hands meeting where everyone who's anyone will be making the scene. Biff Martin here. In addition to a special performance from Mona, I wanna hump a lot. We're all gonna get a chance to hear from the real hero, gosh darn it. Plus, the Dirk Diggler action figure. I love when you pull my string. So come on, Penetronians. Let's get ready to rock. Thanks for the ride, Hempy. That was righteous, my brother. Be careful, Tim. You seem fucked up. Of course I'm fucked up. I'm at work. Once again, you are late. And why do you smell like weed? Well, the reason why I smell like weed is because I've been smoking weed, Dirk. And gosh, 
I guess the reason why I'm late is I just don't give a fuck. Who is that interesting man? That would be me, Dirk Diggler. I'm talking about the gentleman over in the corner doing nothing. That excites me. Why don't we take this opportunity to let the kids ask our hero a few questions. What was it like going up against a giant cock? While lesser people would have been afraid, Penetron corporate property was at risk. I did not have time for fear. My training took over. You can read all about it in my upcoming book. There's a new hero in town, Dirk Diggler. Get used to it. Penetron Global is proud to present Camel Toe Lake. She certainly has tremendous assets. This is boring as fuck. I'm gonna go get high. I'm the real hero. I deserve her. I'm Dick Nixon, and you need to come with me. I can't go anywhere. Tonight's about me. Yeah, Dick, I was hoping to take some executive privilege with the ballerina. You fucking assholes don't think I have better things to do? Your country needs you. Now get in the fucking car. Cock! We must cancel the show. We're being attacked by a gigantic... Gigantic cock. Help! Help! We need a real hero. Oh no, there is trouble. I'm afraid you'll have to find someone else to take on this giant cock. <laughs> Diggler, where are you? Your good pal Officer Puller needs to speak to you. Ins. There's no time for that, man. Our perimeter's been breached by a gigantic cock. You ins don't know anything about a giant cock. Hey, man. There's no time for a gigantic cock off. Just let me do what I've been trained to do. That's right, man. It's go time. Please be careful riding that gigantic cock, my love. Ewins didn't tell us everything you knew. That's no dirtbag hippie. That's a professional large cock handler. Polar, you're just an unhinged street cop. How can you recognize a gigantic cock handler? I was in the core and had extensive training on how to handle a gigantic cock. I recognize the tactics. Use nose, Penetron's dirty, Detective Langford. We gotta go after Diggler now. Stand down, Polar. It's not the right time. Besides, we don't even know where Diggler is. <laughs> Golly gee willikers, I wanted to blow more grass. Did we already blow our load? Well, golly gosh darn there, Tiger. We wouldn't fib to you about the bonus content. Just follow the bong smoke. Epilogue one of two. Mr. Diggler goes to Washington. Welcome to the White House. Your country needs you right now. Relax, Mr. President. I'm a real hero. And I'm here to help America with its giant cock problem. <laughs> Gee golly, wait, there's more. Epilogue two of two, where is the love? Help, there's a gigantic cock on the loose. Some of you may question my logic of leaving the ballet so I could do the pot. And sure, gosh darn it, maybe all this weed's made me a bit of a dreamer. But gee golly, in times like this, I just think the best ROI can be obtained from smoking weed and doing nothing. Hi there, I'm being pursued by a giant cock. Can you protect me? Come on, man, I'm just trying to get fucking high. Besides, I'm sure it's not the first time you've been pursued by a gigantic cock. That giant cock will rip a hole right through me. How can you just sit there doing narcotics instead of protecting me? I'm not gonna lie. You come across as being really high maintenance. Maybe you should put your mouth on this bong. I heard putting my mouth on that thing would make me hallucinate. Get in the car! There's a giant cock headed this way! Please, please, don't forget about me! That giant cock will rip me right in half! Hey man, if you're gonna wanna roll with me, you're gonna have to mellow out! Hempy's right, your never-ending neurosis is really fucking up my high. Let's fucking go, man! I think I'm ready to put my mouth on your thing. Make sure you relax your throat. I don't want you to gag and spit up all over him. Empty's clean car. You know, there's a lot more I can do with my mouth. Whatever, man. 
I'm getting all lightheaded from the marijuana. Smoke more. It will keep you quiet and make this ride less irritating. Wait till I pipe, Tim. You're so money. Gee golly, Hempy. You should keep your eyes on the road when people are having sex and smoking weed in the back seat. It's safer that way. I'm getting ready to squirt all over you. Hey, Hempy, my brother. We may need to clean your car out a little bit when we get home. Hey, kids, you want to be like the amazing slacker? Then follow the bong smoke. This concludes another episode of the amazing slacker from all of your good pals at the art of floundering podcast peace and love